Oh, it's time for another Q&A. You know the deal. Ask more questions in the comments below. Limit of three per person. Anyways, no wasting time since this is the 11th one. You should know what the deal is by now. Let's get started. Brayden Leduck DOD asks, Do I think it would be cool to jump into a city-sized water balloon? Ah, oh, that reminds me of that Invader Zim episode where Zim built a city-sized water balloon. And it would be super fun to jump into, as long as it doesn't pop. If it pops, you got a tsunami on your hands. <laughs> And question number two, will Dipper Pines ever come to universes because you have tons of ideas? Um, maybe I could use Dipper again if you want, but I need requests because I don't have tons of ideas, so let me know what your tons of ideas are. And question number three, when I hear the word duck, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Oh no. Oh no. DuckTales! Woohoo! Every day they're out there, make, make it stop. DuckTales! Woohoo! <laughs> Ponytails, oh cotton tails, <laughs> duck tails. Autistic Cyberman asks, have I ever read any creepypastas? Um, not exactly, they're all kind of the same thing, really. Someone makes a popular creepypasta, then people fangirl and sexualize the character even though they're horror characters with blood all over them and it's really gross and ugh. So yeah, I'm just not into creepypastas for the community around it. I like traditional horror stories and stuff. Those are much... Much better and well done, instead of just created to be teen fangirl bait, like Jeff the Killer or something. It's dumb. Question number two, what is the worst video game I've ever played? Uh, either Sonic Chronicles, Sonic 06, uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, uh, Sonic and the Secret Ring. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Um, and also Ninja Bread Man for the Wii. Question number three, what is my favorite and least favorite characters that have been on universes? My favorite is Heihachi, and my least favorite is Tails from Sonic. Wrestler456 asks, where did the name Leopold the Brave come from? Ooh, I like telling this story because it's actually pretty interesting. So, Leopold is just an interesting name that I've heard lots. Uh, two examples would be my favorite character from South Park is named Butters, but his first name is named uh, Leopold. Leopold Butters Stotch. And he's my favorite character in South Park. But there's also this Bugs Bunny cartoon where he... Uh, where he was pretending to be this uh, composer or music director, I guess, named Leopold. And that's one of my favorite Bugs Bunny cartoons ever, so... Leopold has just been this name that has been associated with things that I like, so I'm like, you know what? Leopold, let's go with that name. And then the Brave is because uh, the short version, Leo, actually means courage, you know, like a lion. Grrr, and the Zodiac, whatever, so... I figured, why not do a joke on redundancy? Leopold the Brave, it's like saying Brave the Brave, and it's funny to me. My sense of humor is odd. Question number two, what is my favorite Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts? Um, to be honest, I never really messed around with the key with the different Keyblades. I mostly just stick with the Kingdom Key, just the basic default thing. But I remember, uh, I cannot remember what Keyblade it was called, but I think it was called the Spellbinder? I used to use that one a lot when I was younger, but now I just stick with the Kingdom Key. Um, but Spellbinder was cool because it would give you, like, tons of MP, and I think you get it from Merlin? I don't remember. And question number three, what is my dream vacation? Ooh, I want to go to Ireland because it's very green and there's lots of potatoes. Yeah, those aren't just stereotypes, those are actual- that's- that's fact. That- that's what Ireland is, it's just green and potato land. Adam Gregory 3 asks, any thoughts on the upcoming game Indivisible, and will any of its characters appear in universes? Um, fun fact, I actually didn't know what Indivisible even was until I read this question, so I just now looked up the trailer and, eh, I mean, it looks fun. I'll, maybe I'll- maybe I'll give it a try, but, um, yeah, I know nothing about it, so I have no clue. But maybe, 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 maybe. I'll just leave you with a solid maybe. Question number two. What are my thoughts on Tekken Cross Street Fighter? Not the Capcom version Street Fighter Cross Tekken, the upcoming Namco version called Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Yeah, it's still happening. Namco just put it on hold for the development of Tekken 7. And since Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5 are both new games, Harada doesn't want to split the community with Tekken Cross Street Fighter. So it, it'll come, just not at the moment. Um, and my opinions on it are... I'm super excited for it, because you know Harada's gonna do it right. You know Harada's gonna do it right. You don't have to pay for customization stuff. Uh, they won't fool you by putting the characters, the DLC characters already on the disc. They're not gonna make you pay for characters that you should have from the start. <laughs> so it's gonna be nice to have a proper Tekken and Street Fighter crossover that it doesn't steal your money and look terrible. I mean, I love cel-shaded graphics, but 
What on earth did they do with the visuals in Street Fighter Cross Tekken? What even was that? O'Neal Danielson asks, Since I like Paladins, have I ever thought of doing a whole team universe as like all the Paladins characters versus all the Overwatch characters? And yeah, that'd be pretty neato. There just isn't much info on Paladins. I mean, they have a couple speed feats like in their trailers uh, where they're dodging point blank laser shots. So that's already makes them faster than Overwatch, but they don't really have any attack potency feats yet. I mean, yeah, there's explosion radius with like Bomb King and other uh, explodey characters, but nothing huge. But then again, Overwatch is wall level at most. There are some characters that are higher, like Doomfist, so it'd actually be a pretty even matchup. I mean, Paladins may win just due to sheer the sheer amount of characters they have. They'd outnumber Overwatch, so Paladins would probably win, especially since they have speed advantage. But I don't know. There's not enough info on Paladins uh, or Overwatch yet to do a, an, an entire team thing. Question number two: If I could redo any death battle in terms of likelihood of winning, what would it be? Bowser versus Ganon. I know I rant about that one a lot, but oh, that was the most wrong in my opinion. Because wow, Bowser should have one shot. <laughs> I'm not even being biased. I like Zelda way more, but Bowser should have one shot Ganon. Come on. And question number three: Who is SpongeBob fighting? Oh, ho, ho. I'm not gonna reveal that yet. Uh, people in the Discord might, but I'm not. <laughs> Let's just say. Uh, Spongebob's opponent, uh, purple and yellow, he's one super fellow. That's all I will say. Hero of the Emblem asks, What is my opinion on Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt? Um, I don't have an opinion on it. All I have is a fact that it's excellent. Question number two. If I could live in any fictional universe, what would it be? Honestly, Adventure Time. It's just such a whimsical and fun looking place to be in the land of Ooh. And even small things there look super cool. Like, I remember there's this one moment in an episode where Finn gets, like, these power rings and there's, like, magical sparkles and fireworks coming out of him. That was just for, like, a, a ten-second on-screen thing for, like, a joke or whatever, but it was still super cool and I want them. Question number three. If Cinderella's slipper could only fit her foot and no one else's, why do I think it fell off in the first place? Oh, it's simple. Uh, she just had really dry feet and, you know, lubed them up with lotion so they wouldn't crack or anything from how dry they were, and she immediately forgot that it's a glass slipper, and lotion on glass is very slippery, so it slipped off. And plus it's called a slipper, it's gonna slip off anyways. Patrick Gowen asks, what's the progress of OC fights? Oh, oh all right, I guess I finally have to man up and talk about it. Ugh, I don't want to say it's dead again, even though it's been months, um. But you see, the issue is when people make OCs, they make like different ranges of power, like, like, okay, one of them's like wall level. Cool, I just have to find another wall level matchup. But then that wall level character has like alternate forms that go up from mountain level to planet level to star level, and it's insane. It's impossible to match up OCs for a fight because they have all these different forms that go to ridiculous levels. Why can't they have different forms that go from wall level to room level to building level? Just small steps like that. Then they can be matched up with other wall level or building level characters, but they go from wall level to solar system level. How does that happen? Why? Why are these OCs so crazy and mixed up? I just want to do it, but it's so hard to match. And I know, I know there's good matchups involving Pineapple Carmine's OCs, but I used to have last episode and I don't want to use the same person twice in a row because I need variety to be creative. And <laughs> Question number two, which game am I most excited for for the rest of 2017? Um, I honestly have no idea. I got my Tekken, I got my Crash. Sonic Mania was a pleasant surprise. So I'm I'm satisfied for 2017. Oh, we also got Breath of the Wild. That was really good. So yeah, 2017 has just been a super good year. I'm satisfied. I don't I don't even know what else is coming out this year that I'm interested in. Um, uh, next question: Which do I think is better, Samurai Jack or The Legend of Zelda? Um, that's kind of hard to choose because um, one's a game and one's a TV show. But I guess I'd have to go with Zelda because, I mean, TV shows are the same whether no matter how many times you watch it. But when you play a game, it's like different each time you play. So I guess Legend of Zelda just for the sheer fact that it's a video game and not a show. Penguin Party 119 says, Leopold the Brave, you're a good singer. Thank you. Question number two. Does Scout still beat Tracer despite the upcoming nerfs? What nerfs? You mean like gameplay nerfs in TF2? Um, yeah, Scout still wins. Those don't really matter. Question number three. What's my opinion on Super Mario Logan bringing back Woody? I think that's a good step in the right direction because his his channel has become the Bowser Jr. and Jeffy channel. He needs to bring back some of the good old characters or come up with some good new ones because we've had too much of Bowser Jr. and Jeffy. Ugh. More Woody. 
Paleo Mario 66 asks, who is my favorite Mario character? Oh, I like Luigi and Wario the most. Uh, I know those impressions are terrible. <clears throat> I didn't do my warm-ups today. My vo my vocal warm-ups. Uh, question number two: What do I think of Dragon Ball Z abridged? Um, I think it's I think it's funny. Um, it was a lot funnier back then than it is now. I mean, it's still funny, but it's just kind of it's really devolved in my opinion. Like it's becoming more of the actual thing it's parodying. Like it legit feels there's actual filler in an abridged series. No other abridged series has done that, and Dragon Ball Z has made me feel like. It has filler with its abridged series lately, and that's not a good sign. They're just taking it way too slow with the Cell thing and milking his character too much. And question number three, which profiles on Versus Battles Wiki do I disagree with the most? Um, it would have to be the fighting game profiles, whether it be Tekken, Street Fighter, or Mortal Kombat. They always scale most of the characters to each other because, oh, this uh, it was the whole chain... The chain reaction situation I talked about, like the rock, paper, scissors without the scissors. The, this guy beats that guy, who beats that guy, who beats that guy, who beats that guy, so therefore he's this level. They just have insane skilling and everyone ends up at the exact same levels of power, even though there's clearly different levels of power in the verses. Pro234 asks, what is the least interesting character I've had to research? Um, probably Ermac from Mortal Kombat. I mean, Ermac's my main in Mortal Kombat and I like Mortal Kombat a lot. But, I'm, to be honest, the lore just really isn't interesting to me. It's kind of boring, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Question number two. What is the worst Shonen Jump anime, in my opinion? Fairy Tale or Sword on Online? Pick your poison. Either one of those two. They're tied for the worst. And question number three. Would I rather be Yamcha or Sakura? Um, I guess Sakura, because then I'd at least be able to play with my own boobs while I'm being useless. <laughs> Dimension Destroyer asks, Did I watch the first episode of Season 3 of Cartoon Fight Club, the Super Smash Bros. Uh, versus PlayStation All-Stars one, and what did I think of it? Um, yes, I watched it, and I actually enjoyed it very much. I'm really glad Animation Rewind has switched to this uh, non-overuse of memes, this Undertale overrun thing, even though he just uploaded an Undertale one this morning, but whatever. Um, I'm glad he's doing all that stuff a lot less, and focusing more on the actual quality over quantity. Thank goodness. So, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. And question number two, is Parappa ever going to appear in universes? Uh, what can he do? Ethan Espinel asks, Pokemon or Digimon? Neither. I mean, I've played a Pokemon game or two, but I don't know, it just doesn't really interesting interest me. I'm not a fan of RPGs and stuff, like waiting your turn to think of an attack, because basically, you just gotta press forward and then heal whenever you're low on health. RPGs don't have any strategy, despite the illusion of one. Like, they throw in all these mechanics, like all these different equipment with different properties and stuff, but they don't really mean anything. You can just muscle through anything in RPGs, just attack blindly, and then heal whenever your health is low, and then restore magic whenever magic is low. That's all there is to it. Question number two, what are my thoughts on the Emoji Movie? Um, never saw it, and I'm happy that I never saw it. <laughs> and question number three. Will Universes have a second season? Um, actually, Universes is just going to be one big continuous show. There's no real reason to have first and second seasons or anything. But I guess you could kind of call what I'm working on now season two, like, between the break. Because I did have a long summer-long break of Universes because I didn't have time. With this stupid job training I was going to that didn't even help me. I got a job on my own without the training because my dad works at IHOP, so he just got me a job there, whatever. So yeah, that was a big waste of time. Um, so I guess the break during that time could be considered a seasonal break. So starting with uh, Garnet vs. Donkey Kong, I guess you could call that season two, but not technically because Universes is just one continuous show. Uh, I made that more confusing than it needed to be. But yeah, those are my questions. Ask more in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Leopold the Brave, out.